Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Ballers Blockchain. Thank you for watching, I appreciate your time. Today we are gonna go through the metallic gold pack drop, what you want in your pack, what you should do with your moments and what you should look out for in the marketplace straight after. Let's get into it. No time for the intro, we've got too much to get through. Uh, a quick note on Cool Cats, it did dip to uh, 3.15 earlier, then it rose back up to 3.66. Um, I want to highlight Chris Paul is currently at $31. He was selling for $70. On the first day, he sold for $70, and now he's only at $31. Okay, so remember that, because we're going to go through what's going to happen with the metallic gold moments. Now, another thing that came up was uh, Baller Status. Baller Status was updated. Um, you get points for doing things like completing challenges, collecting a rare, buying packs, so on and so forth. Uh, Steph Suto on a Twitch stream today mentioned that it'd be a good idea if you reward people for buying a certain amount of moments on the marketplace. I think that's a good idea. Uh, a lot of collectors just buy on the marketplace. Packs are competitive. It was a very good point I thought she made there. But more to the other point that was brought up on baller status. Why is the, why is the early adopters baller status achievement time limited? This is a brand new uh, FAQ on the support page of Top Shot. And basically what they're saying, if you collect any moment, one moment before May 22nd, 2021, you are eligible to earn 100 points. Not really significant, but they do mention, well, or basically an early adopter. And the reason this is significant is May 22nd is the start of the playoffs. There go the conspiracies. Are we coming out of beta then? Are we starting marketing then? Well, personally, I don't think so because in the last office hours, they said that that won't happen. They're both probably six months away. So personally, I don't think it's that. I think it was just maybe a cutoff where they say, right, from everyone from now, everyone from May 22nd and before, they are now our early adopters or our second wave of early adopters. And from then on, they're not early adopters. And maybe that's got in line with a, a gift that we might be getting. Maybe the 100 points is a gift. I don't know. I'm speculating, but I don't think we're coming out of beta then. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of marketing going on then. Beta, I, beta, I don't think so. Not me. But we're here to talk about MGLE. The new pack drop dropped. We knew it was coming because they got minted the other day. We mentioned it in the last video. And luckily I'm eligible. Hopefully if you're watching, you are too. But even if you're not, there is a strategy going forward for the marketplace during or just after the drop. So interestingly, this time around, you had to have, again, 15 moments, two or two rares, or one MGLE moment, or have spent $99 in the marketplace, as opposed to one legendary moment for the holo drop and $999 for the marketplace spend for the holo drop. Um, so I'm gonna keep track of these. Interesting to see, interesting to see what that looks like going forward. Clearly they've settled for the 15 moments for eligibility on these two pack drops. So interesting to see how that goes going forward, if it's gonna stay at 15, go up, whatever else. Uh, I did see one good point on Twitter, it was chugs and bugs say, if you've spent, you know, a hundred bucks on packs, maybe you should be eligible as well. Other than that, um, I think most people are pretty happy. It's pretty fair. Uh, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think, if you think that the requirements are fair or are they not. Either way, we're gonna push on. So just quickly, if you wanna know how much you've spent in the marketplace, uh, the best way I can think of doing it is going to live token, going to your account, punching it in and going to activity feed. And then you can go through all of your bought items in purple, it's a bit cumbersome, but you can add them up, find out how much you've spent, and then figure out how much you have actually spent. So in future, at least you would know, obviously it's too late now, they would have taken a snapshot, and what's done is done. So there's 18,927 packs available, and the rebound packs are back. So it's said that we're all getting a pack again, which is interesting, because that added up equals about 67,000. It doesn't quite equal 70,000, yet 83,000, qualified for the holo drop, and now less people qualified for this cheap, cheaper drop. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Originally we did have um, a release, where is it? Here we go. Originally we did have release 27, which was 50,000 packs. This could be the rebound packs, the 50,000. And then after the holo drop, they basically made a release 28. And that's the one we got where we got 81,000 rebound packs. So I'm not sure if we're getting 50,000 rebound packs. It does say enough for every collector that qualifies for the queue will be 
eligible for a $9 rebound pack. So we'll see what happens there. Most notable MGLE pulls that we want if you get the MGLE pack. There is a spreadsheet, I'll link it below, and I've picked out a few of my picks that are the most notable that you want to pull. So we got Joe Harris and DeAndre Jordan. I'm picking them basically because they're in Brooklyn and I think they're gonna go deep. Uh, Kemba Walker as well as Jalen Brown, I think will be a good get. Jalen Brown's having an awesome season. Uh, Kobe White, a lot of people like Kobe White, so if you're into him, that'd be a good grab to get. James Wiseman, unfortunately he's injured, but he at least got to swat the crap out of that one. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, just because he's a Laker and I think they're going to go deep again. Um, so he'll be, most Lakers are a little bit inflated outside of LeBron as well, just because they're a Laker, big fan base. RJ Barrett, um, generally he holds a decent amount of value considering he's not a top 10 player. De'Aaron Fox, um, franchise player. Mike Connolly, the only all-star in this group. He's in the MGL League group as well. Also, uh, there was minted Joel Embiid, Cole Anthony, and Shea Gilgis-Alexander. They are likely, but not confirmed, to be challenge rewards. So wait for that after the drop. I'm sure something will come out not long thereafter. Um, notable pulls that we can get in the commons are LeBron. We got more Durants. We got more Lamellos. We got more Zions, we got more Stephs, we got more Lucas. They're your liquid players. If you're in the base, for the base moments that are in the MJLE pack and in the rebound packs, these are the ones you want. So in the sp there's a spreadsheet that's provided and I'll put it in the link below and you can click on the right, uh, sorry, the arrow on the far left and then open up and see all these moments. The other thing you can do is go control F or find and search for either bracket five bracket and these are all the 4000 LE rookies that are in this MGLE pack drop. So you can quickly see we've got the Mallows assist, we've got Patrick Williams, Okoro, Killian Hayes, Wiseman. So there's only five of each of these, not many, but if you pull one of these 4000 LEs, that's a really good grab. And the other thing you can do while you're searching in this way is bracket 2321 and that will give you all the brand new minted moments that we're getting in this pack drop and not hit the marketplace yet so notable ones in these would be Danilo Gallinari, uh, Blake Griffin this was his first dunk in two years it was kind of obvious this was going to be a moment as soon as it happened and as soon as he got traded basically and his other one was retired um, Aaron Gordon in a Denver uniform again his other moment got retired uh, Isaiah Stewart, um, it's a brand new moment and a rookie, so I pick, picked him out. Sadie Bay, uh, Sadiq, sorry, Sadiq Bay, and I know a lot of people in Twitter have been asking for him to get a moment. Uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, he's just, uh, he's like the next uh, Bald Eagle, he's like the next Alex Caruso at this point, and he, it's well earned. Hey, he's playing well, but he's a Laker, so therefore he, he gets a bit of a bump, and he's got a nice assist there from LeBron, by the way. Not bad. Uh, Xavier Tillman, another rookie. Good grab. Good new moment. Peyton Pritchard, uh, game winner against the Heat. Some people are into him. Gordon Hayward, just because he's a franchise player at the Charlotte Hornets. Harrison Barnes. Oh, this one's awesome. This is a. <laughs> this one's awesome. This is a really good moment. This is um, his turnaround jumper, game winning three. He's also the highest, um, biggest collection out of any NBA player. So that's a really cool moment. That was pretty hot on the top shot, this Twitter, when it happened as well. The lowest MGLE moment is worth, on the marketplace, $200. The pack is worth $99. So again, as I always say, the pack is worth it. It's always worth it. Even if you liquidate your MGLE straight away, you double your dapper and gain six commons. So that's good. If you get an MGLE pack and you wanna liquidate, don't be in a rush to sell your MGLE metallic gold moment. This is why. If we go to uh, Davis Batans, for example, who hit the marketplace not that long ago, he's part of this drop, but he's part of this drop where they already have some moments released. So you can see in the spreadsheet, some of them say we're getting 202, and others say we're getting 499. The 499 are the newest mints. The 202s, here's Davis Batans here. They're currently in the marketplace or in the circulation, but we're also getting more today or tomorrow or whenever you're watching. 
So this is what happened when he hit the market. You can see he's sort of stable over here. There's a couple of outlying transactions that have taken it, the average up there. But in the first day, in the first hours, very erratic until he finds his market value. Just for argument's sake, let's look at Josh Hart's. Same situation, half's in circulation already. Look at this, it started off at the market at $300. Someone, hashtag don't be this guy, sold it at 150 and then straight away it went all the way back up to 274. So don't be that guy. Um, and then he found a fair market value and he leveled out and he's still going for around 215. So my point is don't rush to liquidate your MGLE. My strategy for you is buy today, sell tomorrow. So what do I mean by that? Even if you only get a rebound pack, buy the pack, definitely. Buy some undercutted moments that you're scouting, maybe some of those liquid players we mentioned earlier, maybe some of your favorite players that you've been looking at for a while that's been tempting, maybe some Aussie Patty Mills or something like that. That's just me, clearly no one's gonna buy Patty Mills. Now, if you only get a rebound pack, I wouldn't list your moments on the first day because they're just gonna get undercut and then probably come back up. LeBron's always a classic example. We're gonna get more assists Sorry, more of LeBron's 35K CC assist. And when that happens, it'll get undercut a little bit. It'll probably make its way down to, back to 60 bucks again, and then it probably will recoup a little bit. Personally, I wouldn't list my moments straight away on the first day without observing the market. New distribution equals undercutters. New moments means people don't know what to value them at, and then eventually they will find their market value. Now, if you sell on the high and you identify it, happy days. But if you sell on the low, you'll kick yourself later and you'll start thinking about the stuff you could have done with that dapper. Remember to observe and make sure you're getting your market value at least. Now, remember to stay adaptable for the playoffs. There is more packs in the pipeline. This isn't it. There's gonna be so much more. Recently, we did a video on how many packs we're getting from the office hours. So. Make sure you stay adaptable. Make sure you don't put all your eggs in this basket and in this marketplace. You want to be able to be flexible moving forward as well. And I'm most excited about whatever we're getting in the playoffs. Who knows what that'll be? There'll be rares, there'll be probably legendaries, but there'll be definitely some more commons as well. Just stay adaptable, make sure you got liquid, not just when it's relevant right now, but in future, because these pack drops, sometimes they just happen at a drop of a hat and you see it all the time, People liquidate their most valuable moments and then they don't get a pack and they buy them back. Just before we finish, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I recently had an overwhelming wave of positivity on Twitter, thanks to a couple of shout outs from Wades and a retweet from Roam. Uh, I couldn't have been more uh, blown away at this point of my YouTube journey to have had that. And the response was just extremely positive. So I thank you so much for that. I thank you for all of you watching. And also I just wanted to do a quick shout out for um, Top Shot Talk and Fleo. Those two YouTube channels have been very supportive of this one. So if you haven't already, please check them out and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again, appreciate you, see ya.